approach or technical approach is not enough in order to understand why Catalan people are demanding independence. But the case of the Can Quebec is quite different. Uh, not only because the attitude from the Canada government was quite different from the Spanish one, but because uh, there is a, well, a significant um, ethnic question uh, concerning the French language there. Um, of course, uh, all the things, uh, all the important things, like as the Brexit or the case of the Can in the Quebec, uh, create the tensions and division, um, confrontation of the part of the society. For me, that is not a problem. The problem is to not find the way to solve that disagreement. Because the disagreement is a characteristic of a democratic society. Always you can find disagreements in a democratic society. That is not a problem. That is the that is the, uh, in fact, is a sign of uh, the health of the democracy. The problem is when you are not allowed to solve that disappointment through the democratic means. That is the problem. And all of questions, all of questions could be uh, put on the table. For me, the unity of Spain or the unity of Catalonia or the unity of Romania is nothing sacred. It's not come from God. It's come from the human being. So if a new generation needs other and modern, more modern tools to manage their challenges, why not? Why the countries of our ancestors is the West tool to manage the challenges for the modernity? That is unbelievable. So the way to solve that contradiction is to ask the people. So, uh, regarding the, 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 the non-violence commitment to Catalan movement is one of the <coughs> our best arguments. The, the, the commitment to Catalan people to peace and to non-violence way is not come from now. There is centuries of experience in that. It's not causality because uh, if you can see in Barcelona, for example, the biggest demonstrations against war or allowing or demanding to allow to receive refugees from the war of Syria. It's not casualty. Because there is a, a very deep commitment in Catalan society, in Catalan culture, with non-violence. For that, we try to resist all of provocations uh, in order to fall in such attitude. Because when we propose let me say, a conflict, like the first October referendum, with our tools, our language, our culture, we won. But if we follow the, the conflict as the Spanish state has designed, and has decided, which means violence, confrontation, we will lose. So we will never, never uh, use the violence or accept the violence as an uh, alternative to defend our right. Because it's time to say the right of self-determination is a tool to prevent conflicts. It's a shame for the humanity to see the only, only um, su successful project, successful demand uh, of the right of self-determination is thanks to violence. That is a shame. In the 21st century, that is not acceptable. For that reason, we will not follow the path of the Gilets uh, Jaunes because of it. we have no, 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 no one single point of relationship with that, of course. But we have shown since eight years our clear commitment to uh, civic and peaceful demonstrations. There, is there another country in the world who has alone with the capacity to call for a big demonstration every year, every year, with more than a million people to the streets with no one single incident, not at all. That is the first case in Europe, and that must be heard. That must be respected. Finally, in the question of the fiscal cost, well, I'm, I'm agree with you, uh, we must do uh, 
to explain clearly to our people the cost of independence. But first of all, now I'm very interested to know the cost of dependence. And, and I think it's, mm, I don't know why, I suppose yes, but the Spanish government uh, never showed the figures of the, uh, the fiscal balance between Catalonia and Spain. Never. One, one time, only. And when they see, they saw the, that uh, unequal balance means 8% of our GDP. That is very serious. No one economy could resist more time uh, losing every year 8% of its GDP for nothing. And for that, yes, we want to discuss about the cost of independence. But start with the cost of dependence. And secondly, we must not forget, no one single country who was declared independent has been independent, has decided to remove the declaration of independence and to return to previous that could. So, well, that, but that uh, approach is very interesting. Um, in order to remark, to stress, the Catalan case is not economical, nationalist case. Because the, the economical reasons for independence in Catalan were reasons 40 years ago. And 40 years ago was zero APs demanding independence. 10 years ago, after the uh, decision of the Spanish Constitutional Court, do you know what, how many MPs were in favor of independence in the Catalan Parliament? The Catalan Parliament is by 135 seats. Well, in the end of 2010, only 14, 14 were in favor of independence. Four years later, we were 72, 72. So, well, this is not an economical or ethnical approach who could explain why Catalan uh, demands independence. It's about dignity. It's about dignity. All but peoples, all countries have the right to be the result of their own efforts. And that right is not respected in the case of Catalonia.